a whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsi Day. With love, your brothers. <laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No, not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go. The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not... Uh, meow. The best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here. To help me pass the time until it's Sunsi Day. I wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Look, it catch really it. worked. He wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Oh, grab it! It's getting away! Wow, did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it worked! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. 
That's mine! It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> Comes my heroic move in action. Ah! Here comes the unstoppable salmon. Oh! Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney. That was great. I'm getting a package soon too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> Come on. The Six-Legged Beast As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will... Wow, well, it worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News. And you had doubts. Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly. I will visit you soon. I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods. Like badgers and other animals. Such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga. <gasps> oh! Stop still. I'm still. Now you can save me. From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be... A monster with huge teeth that roars. Oh! And... Three? Four? Maybe six legs? Six legs? Not six. Perhaps eight! Maybe more! In order to protect our students and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? The cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah, we'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. The professor uses this rag to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. You chappy. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> and brave women, too. Hey, it's open. <gasps> Helen, she escaped. Oh, no way. We have to go save her. And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds. Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh! I found it! Oh, 
you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear Six Paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! <laughs> Don't go! What about our heroic rescue? Hmm. We've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hut. Yes. I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here. Aside from the local fauna, did Baba Yaga make it up? <laughs> huh? Helen! Hold on! Let Helen go, or you'll be sorry! <laughs> Got him! Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here. Ah! As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor! Helen fell in the pit! And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six paws. Phenomenal! But we must count his legs to be certain. Four. Five and six. Clockwise, there are six. And my counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapolis. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast. And absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. It should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. Or then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. <laughs> Prince Vasco. And the magical dynasty of Woodstream is 5,000 years old. And now my father, Oakengrove, is the 252nd ruler. That was a very informative presentation, Princess Lisa. Thank you. And that is the end of our lesson. Our family started as fishermen. My great-great-grandfather caught a whale once, but they became friends, so he let it go. In Wisdom Land, all kings and queens are called the Wise. Our throne is set up in a library. There's still someone we don't know the tiniest bit about. Oh? Uh, who? You know who. Tell us about your family. Do you have a castle? Are there any towers? Um, I... I can't tell you. It's a secret. Huh? Why didn't you tell them about your family? It isn't like you're cursed or anything. The princesses, Levon! Princesses! I don't see how that's a problem. Of course you don't get it. You're from a royal family. You have a castle and you ride dragons. But me? I spent my childhood pulling weeds out. Would the princesses even still talk to me if they knew that? Vasca, we know everything! You do? But how? We read it! The Magic Herald says that the famous king of an ancient family has apparently sent his favorite grandson to the very best school of magic! Lucky kid, huh? This boy has natural talent. He could levitate before he even learned how to walk and flew off for ice cream! <laughs> Sounds great. Stop pretending. We know that it's you. Me? Mm. Of course. It's me. You guessed right. Yep, you win. It's me. And so to honor our prince from an ancient family, that's you, we cordially invite you to a royal picnic. Wow, a picnic. And we look forward to you showing off your amazing levitation ability. Maybe we could learn a thing or two. Piece of cake. Uh, levitation has to do with levers, right? Uh, I can't believe you agreed to this. Vasco, you don't even know what levitation is. Come on, this is my only chance to make them believe that I'm a prince. I just want to fit in. Okay, if it's that important to you, then my honor demands that I help you out. Rock on! But if you want to be more princely, then you should use more refined language. Do what I do. Light as air, soft as snow, soar above the ground below. Live it high, live it up. Lift your head and levy up. Now you give it a try.
Left face. March. Very good. Now to the right. This nettle's turned out great. And it's well trained. Soon it'll be growing everywhere. Oh! And just look at their flower beds over there. They know nothing about beauty. Light as air, rotten dough. Oops, I mean soft as snow. I'll soar above you. Levitai, levitair, lift me in the air. Uh, it's impossible. I've been working on it for a whole hour and nothing. Double swamp potion. Now none of their magic will be able to touch you. Oh, my potion! I didn't even have a chance to finish making it yet. <sighs> I'll never get this right. Stomp here, clap there. It just makes no sense. You'll get it. You just need to feel the magic in your bones, you know? Make it your own. <gasps> My magic! I forgot all about it! Ivan, you're a real friend! No, a genius! <sighs> well? Rock on! I mean, magnificent. <sighs> your attention, please! For the very first time, Prince Vaska will demonstrate his famous levitation. Hmm? So you're the one interfering with my spell. Oh, you're in for it now. Nettle, ready on my command. Chase everyone away and seize the flower bed by the school. Wondermont will be ours. Onward! Uh, thank you, my friends. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> My special nettles are magic resistant. Go! Get behind me! Oh, magic isn't making them go away! Then we should deal with them without any magic at all! Watch and learn! Ah! Oh. Oh. What kind of ancient magic warrior technique is that? Well, it's actually called weeding! Who ah! 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 said you could retreat? Stop! I have enough medals in my own already! Wait! <sighs> Just like back home on the farm. Oh, no. <laughs> Great job! Listen, I'm not some prince from an ancient family. I'm just Vasco from a long line of farmers. And I like you better this way, instead of being some fancy show-off. I wouldn't trade you for a million princes, my friend. Rock on! I guess being true to yourself is your best self. The Frog Stone Don't open it yet. Let me guess what's inside. <laughs> It's Thumbelina, who is actually your secret second cousin. No, wait. It's Tom Thumb. Okay, now I'm ready to see. No tiny boys in here. I hope Levon and Vasco aren't nearby either. Here, it's my grandmother's frogstone ring. <gasps> wow, it's really beautiful. And it's magical, too. Just touch the stone and you'll turn into a frog right away. <gasps> Ribbit! Whoa. Touch it again and you'll turn back to normal. That's so cool. Traditionally, you only wear this on All Swamps Day. But now I, I have to wear it every day. Since the boys got here, I've been so nervous that I keep turning into a frog. Worse, the timing is... Ribbit? Goodness, not again. Turning into a frog is dreadful, isn't it? Big deal. So you turn into a frog. You can jump and croak and swim around. You're making a mountain out of a toadstool. I mean, molehill. You have no idea what it's like. Rooney, I can barely croak before something happens. It's so embarrassing. Surrender, beast, or I'll turn you into a toad. <laughs> oh, no. The boys. I have to get out of here. Calm down. No hiding. I have a plan. Just put on your ring and you can rib it. You'll see it's going to be fine. You don't get it at all, Rooney. Don't go, Lisa. Why is everything bigger? Did I touch Lisa's ring and turn into... A frog! Look, Levon! 
Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. It has a crown on its head. Maybe it's a water sprite. So pleased to meet you. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Hey, in El Dorado, frogs were a lot of fun. They were always racing around the ponds, while the Wondermont frogs are kind of lazy. Don't you think they look so bored? Why don't we make a race for them? Excellent idea. I'll bet on the frog with the crown. She looks like she could win. Actually, I'm a princess. And I'm probably going to beat you. Soon I'll tell Lisa that being a frog was cool. So learn from me while you can. On your mark, get set, ribbit! <laughs> One more try. Come on! I got off on the wrong foot. I want a re-jump. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Oh, ugh. How is Lisa so good at jumping? This is really uh, so hard. Uh, uh, I'm jumped out. Mm, maybe she's better at swimming. She is a water sprite. Want to try? N no, thank you. I need to go find Lisa. You're lucky I'm out of shape. Rib by it. Rooney? Rooney? Where are you? I'm so sorry. I just got scared, that's all. Lisa! Lisa! I'm here! Right here! Nobody understands me! I croaked and croaked, but... <laughs> Welcome, dear passenger, to Wondermont Airlines. Next stop, the pond next to my hut. Hmm. Could I please have a moment to myself, uninterrupted? No wonder frogs are always hiding out in the swamp. Welcome home. It'll be crowded, but nice. My very own pond and statue. It does have a habit of breaking, but the magic is reliable. You can't run away. You'll put on frog concerts every evening. Oh, it's broken again. I expect good singing with harmonies. I won't tolerate sour notes. If I can't jump out, I'll have to fall out. All right, friends, the time has come. We're getting out of here. Jump after me. To the left, to the right. Don't just sit there. Come on. Ribbit, ribbit. Uh. Uh. Huh? What is going on? Where are you going? Wait, wait, wait. Stay with me. You can be a soloist. I'll make you a star. Careful. Look out. Hey, you. You had to fly. Oh, flying frog. Ah! That's our frog with the crown. She's flying. Lisa, I'm coming your way. Ah! Ah! You see that? She nailed that landing. Let's include this in the competition. Help me. Someone, I can't swim. Oh, ribbit, ribbit, Rooney. Hang on. <laughs> Lisa, you won't believe what happened to me. First, I almost won a real frog race. Then I got captured and joined a frog choir. And finally, that raven who can't even fly properly. Wait a moment. I don't understand. But I understand. Being a frog is really hard. Please forgive me for not believing you. Of course I forgive you. Ribbit. Ribbit. But the boys are going to laugh at me. <sighs> I lost that race and I fell in the water. Well, let them make fun of us both. When you're with a good friend, it's not so bad. Huh? Wow, that was awesome! Can you teach us that spell, please? I want to fly on a raven and then use it like a diving board! <laughs> Listen, Rooney, it's a long jump, not high. You're not a grasshopper. Boys, you need to be careful this time. It's not winning if you break something. Ready? Winter in Wondermont. Be on your best behavior. We won't be long as soon as we buy... What is it we're buying today? The usual. All sorts of magical things. Magical things we've run out of. Oscar gave us such interesting pendants. Whatever dress you wear, it matches perfectly. I've tried it with all my clothes. You should try it with something warmer. It's freezing in here. Helen... Are you okay? I'm sad because today's a holiday. Holiday? What holiday makes people sad? I'm sad because I can't celebrate it. Today is Snowland Day. 
It's the best winter holiday. Snow falls from morning to night, and everyone goes ice skating. We share our cocoa and gingerbread, and at night we meet under the holiday tree and exchange gifts. But all of that happens in Snowland. What wonderment. You should have told us sooner, because then we could have put it on our holiday calendar. But how can we celebrate here? There's no snow. It's impossible. Girls, the library has a spell that summons winter in summertime. Well, should we bring winter to Wondermont? Oh, it's so cold. Looks like there's some fine print. Winter magic is very fragile. When the ice ball appears, you must not... Must not what? I don't know. The ink is faded. Just must not. I think it says we must not leave Helen without her favorite holiday. Just because of fine print, the spell hasn't faded. That's all we need. Frosty air, fluffy snow, winter wonders, please be snow. Give us the chance to see snowmen dance. Away with summer air, so winter is everywhere. It's working. It sure is. Even our bears have gone white. 127, 128. I just got started. What is happening? Snow? In summer? That's you. Hello there. Do you have any idea what's going on? Why is it so cold? By the way, my name is Ash. Hey, wait up. Come with me to the school. Otherwise, you'll freeze. <gasps> Look, so cool. Why haven't we summoned winter before? How beautiful. Look inside. There are tiny snowflakes. Ah. Uh. I figured out what we must not do. Uh-oh. You could have warned us that your winter was starting this afternoon. Vasco is out in the forest today, and he's allergic to cold weather. We have to go find him quick and bring him straight back. I'll look to the left, and you... We'll be waiting for you here. Handle it on your own. It's his fault for going out alone. Aren't you worried about Vasco? Look at this. Girls wanted to summon winter for me, and they did it. But they did it wrong. And the magic cold went into their hearts. Now they don't feel anything. So we need to save them too? Yes, we do. Let's split up. You find Vasco, and I'll warm up the girls. Before their hearts freeze over. Vasco! 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 I hear you, Vasco! Just keep sneezing! Vasco! I'm coming to get you. Girls, look over here. Grandma taught me how to handle hot frost. To warm a frozen heart, be kind and funny, and make them smile. <laughs> and now, the showstopper. Ta -da! Come on, girls. Could you please love? I know who you are. You're the legendary sorcerer of the snowy north, and you brought this false winter! But I won't let you freeze all my friends! Vasco is cold and in danger, and I'm here doing silly magic tricks. He would never abandon us like this. He came to save me from the six-legged beast, and he saved Rooney on the flying disc. And once, he protected us from those rocks. <sighs> I can't stop shivering. It's so cold. My tongue's gone numb. Are we in a freezer? Girls, you finally awakened. Quickly, we have to find the boys. Vasco! Vasco! Let's do Bless you, buddy. I see them over there. Guys, we're here to help you! Here's some hot cocoa and gingerbread. Vasco, why are the pendants glowing? We've never studied magic like this before. Oh, that? In El Dorado, we give these pendants to our friends, and they glow whenever we think of each other. And they warmed us up. In Snowland, we have a saying. Friends keep you warm in the cold. Huh? So, you gave Helen a surprise. Snow, hot cocoa, gingerbread. Good work. Do you know what else is missing from our Wondermont Snowland day? Yay! Though you went a bit overboard with the blizzard. Now let's see. How about we reduce the wind by a third? Ah, I can.
think that's better. Look, the Sorcerer of the North is back. What? That's a snowman. He's very kind. Kind? Then let's give him a cup of cocoa, too. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Snowland Day. Put that table right here. On second thought, right here. Okay, what's next on our list? In the evening, I'll be teaching everyone how to do a winter dance. Winter dancing. Uh -huh. Flying gifts aren't on my list. My grandma sent it. It's a whatever gift. A whatever gift? Oh, I've read about those. A whatever gift grants whatever wish the person who opens it has. Wow, you could wish for anything you want. <gasps> Like the most beautiful dress ever! No, five of the most beautiful dresses! I want a straight A pen, the kind that does all of your homework for you. An invisibility blanket that no one can wake me up too early. I've always wanted eye slippers. Or a magical shawl. One that stretches as long as I want and can cover all my friends. Done dreaming? Then it's back to work. Magical gingerbread. This is a special recipe from my home kingdom. They're rice stars filled with soft caramel. Mr. Immortal, sir, do you have any of those flying cards left? I'd like to invite all our friends to celebrate the holiday. Of course. Here. The recipient of these cards will be instantly transported to where they were invited. And the cards can fly wherever you wish. <gasps> Quickly, grab it! Mr. Immortal, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> I don't get what's going on. Why are they having a picnic in the middle of winter when it's so cold out? <laughs> I wonder what Helen is going to choose when she opens up her whatever gift. A whatever gift? Who would give one of those to a child? They'll use it for something silly. I must save it. And use it for something sensible. Oh! Fly east, fly west, and invite all our guests. As quick as can be to the holiday tree. Flock of cards pass across the cold winter skies. Happy Snowland Day. Oh, oh. <laughs> now you're in good hands. <laughs> Give you any gift, especially not this whatever gift. What's a holiday without a chase? Ah! Ooh, to the right! Oh, I mean to the left! Huh? Ah! 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 Did you get it? Not yet. Try again. <laughs> a flying caramel. She stole the gift and ate all of our treats, too! Bye now! Doria! Can you send that flock of cards to Baba Yaga? Sure! Go away! I don't want to come to your party! My gift! We did it! Yes! Back to school. I think that our carpet is frozen. Ah! Oh no. We won't make it back in time for the party. And the cards won't make it at all. Lovely decorations. The party looks great. Where are the children? The guests are late too. Now, don't you worry. I'm sure the guests will arrive soon, and that the hey, kids are simply... We're back! There they are. We chased Baba Yaga, and the flying carpet froze. And we were like, whoosh! It was so cool! We had to walk back. But look! We saved your whatever gift. Now you can get your slippers. The most important thing is you're safe. I can open my gifts after the guests arrive. The guests? The guests aren't coming. 
We used the cards to get Baba Yaga. We tried to get back in time to send out new ones, but we didn't make it. Then nobody else is coming? <gasps> Mr. Immortal, can the Whatever Gift really grant whatever wish you have? Yes, it can. Whatever you wish for. <laughs> then I know what to wish for. Is it the shawl? No, the slippers. My wish is for everyone I invited to come here right away! A six-legged beast! It worked! Glad to see me. After all, I have an invitation. Oh, oh, oh that tickles. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Happy Snowman Day! The Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> an hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> And I can go even wowser than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left hand, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's get going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! We're coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring and in the summer. So, here come our star students who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. You won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Uh, uh. <clears throat> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess! <laughs> <laughs> Wait! What if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> he didn't go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Bruni, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly, something must have happened. Oh, well. Perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong. Dragon! 
It's good! Look, over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's, dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. Our Daria. A vanishing raven. Not much is known about them. <laughs> but they are known to be shy, so it's very important that we're quiet. Surrender, beast! <gasps> You'll never escape a hero! Could you please go and practice being heroes somewhere else? Can't you see I'm in the middle of some important research? Daria, join us! I want to play too! <laughs> us too! <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now I can't do my research. Meal time! Here! Hey, Daria, what's that? It's an invitation to a special school for highly gifted magic users. You will never leave us, right? I will. Then nobody will be able to distract me from my research. Sweeping, swabbing magic broom. Fly inside and clean my room. work either. Now, what was that other spell again? I haven't used it in a while. Don't make that face. The Immortal has a book on housekeeping. I'm sure it must contain some cleaning spells. We'll have you cleaned up in no time. So you just wait here. I will need to get into the school. How do I do that? Hmm, I don't exactly look like a princess. Oh, but I can become one. Make some mushrooms from the glade. Brew some magic for this trade. I'm the princess, you're the witch. One, two, three, and now we switch. <sighs> ah! <gasps> What's going on? Baba Yaga must have done this. How will I get back into school like this? Gloria, are you really leaving? Leaving? Of course not. I just got here. Uh, for class. Good afternoon, my dear students. It's time to begin class. Our topic today is reversal spells. I will need two volunteers. Pick me. Could I be reversed first? And me. Second to first, reverse. Uh. Uh. Anyone else want to try? Me next. Second to first, uh. reverse. Uh. Oh. Daria, that wasn't very nice. Careful, Daria. <laughs> it's Baba Yaga. What is she up to? I got this. Second to first, reverse. There. Such mastery of the lesson. Did you see that? Second to first, reverse. <laughs> Second to first, reverse. 
Second to first, reverse. Now then, Baba Yaga has been persistent today in her attempts to break into the school. So if you could, please, stand guard tonight, Archie. No offense, but I think you need a spring cleaning. I have an idea. I'll clean you right up, and you can help me with something. And now we're even. Thank you. Oh, I made it inside. Now I need to find that book with counter spells. Found it. No, not that one. There. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. This evil spell I erase to restore my one true face. Yes, it worked. <gasps> Fine. It's time to start looking for a couple of cleaning spells. <gasps> you should have stayed in the forest. Sorry, but they don't teach magic in the forest. What's all the commotion? It's Baba Yaga! She turned into me! And I can prove I'm real because I know today's lesson. What spell did we learn? It was a reversal spell. What makes you think you can turn into my student? I'll send you somewhere so far away that you can't interfere with our lessons anymore. The moon! <laughs> Surrender, whoever you... aren't? I had a feeling that wasn't really Daria earlier. Well, admit it. Which of you is the fake one? <laughs> I have always wanted to go to the moon. Daria, I'm sorry that we disturbed your research. How do you know that I'm the real one? Because our Daria wouldn't hesitate to save me. You came to the moon too? It's not the moon, it's our forest. I wanted to scare Baba Yaga. And on that note, second to first reverse. Oh. 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 Hmm. You know, it's kind of nice. I could live on the moon. <laughs> Daria, I thought you wanted to go to that school. Our school is the only one that I want to go to. My friends and teachers make this the best school ever. <laughs> the Gauntlet of Might. Okay, next, the Invisible Princess. Wears the Cloak of Invisibility and has 104 feet. Correct. What about the Solar Knight? His has shining armor. 232... Uh, uh, no, no, 233 feats. That's right. These heroes perform so many amazing feats. They had it easy, though. If I had shining armor, I could perform new heroic feats every day. We should wait to study it, Professor. The Gauntlet of Might is a powerful yet extremely moody artifact. Good idea. Let's let it calm down first. Uh, should we put it somewhere safer while it calms down? No, no. The Enchanted Cube is the only way to take its power away. Oh, speaking of which, we've spent a lot of power ourselves. I suggest we recharge after the long journey by taking a short nap. Hmm. The Gauntlet of Might! That sounds awfully heroic. Did you belong to a famous hero? And now you want to make me a hero? Hmm. I guess if you're going to insist... Whoa! Step aside, Solar Knight! I'm taking the lead in the hero contest! Now 
I've got the gauntlet of my eyes Things that always seemed out of sight Suddenly you're all brought to light No more thinking small Fighting evil all day and night Magic that would give them a fright Never gonna lose in a fight I can do it all Levon? And there's only one in the whole world. Can I try it on? Just for a little bit. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> it's a little stubborn sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Stop messing around. If you don't want to share, just say so. <gasps> Ow! My nose! <laughs> I didn't know Levon was so funny. <laughs> I don't think he's joking. In our old school, the hallways were always so busy. But it's so calm and quiet here. Whoa, whoa, somebody help me! Levon, what are you doing? It's the gauntlet! <laughs> this way! <laughs> Please, stop, gauntlet! <sighs> It's too powerful. We couldn't stop it with all five of us together. The Gauntlet of Might is extremely dangerous. It belonged to an ancient and powerful villain called the Treacherous Cavalier. How do we take it off? We can't do that, but we can transfer it to another hand using a magic spell. Where are we supposed to get another hand? I know. The Black Glove. Oh, Black Glove, we need your help. <laughs> Levan, repeat after me. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. So long. So long, it's been grand. Now fly to another hand. It really worked. I spoke too soon. Oh no, it got away. I can't open it! Then you'll have to stop it on your own! How can I do that when I can't even rescue my own friends? I'm no hero. Levon, you saved me without gauntlets before. Remember when our school ran away and you pulled me out before I got hurt? You got me, Levon! You can do it, Levon! Levon! Defend yourself, Godless! Looks like you might need a hand getting back to the cube, huh? Oh my, I must still be dreaming. Wait a second! Mr. Immortal! I won't let you get away! Levon, over here! I hope that you understand now, Levon. It is your actions that make you a hero, not magical objects. Your actions today were incredibly brave and heroic. Slipshod. Marlene! 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 Oh. Look, I got some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow. And longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. 
And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great game! But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! And I love this soup too! Ugh. It's amazing! <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh, we believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one, too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! <laughs> Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shod, <gasps> I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shod magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning, Vaggy. <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, 
This time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Star Globe. That constellation is a giant. Wow, you're right. And that one's the gnome? You got it. Just like it says in the great astronomer's book. Then the next one is... The Big Dragon. Amazing! Dario, you have all the stars memorized. Oh, but I know which one is next. See that one over there? That's the small dragon. It's like the big dragon, only it's smaller. Girls, I have your test results. The professor has finished grading your papers. One of you got a perfect score. <sighs> Whoa. Yay! An A+. Plus. Oh, I can't believe I missed two constellations. I'll never become an astronomer like this. <gasps> I wish I may, I wish I might. Have this wish tonight make me an astronomer. <gasps> Look, girls, it's the great astronomer's map. <gasps> Whoa! Girls, it's not a normal map. It leads us to different tasks. Whoever completes them all gets the star globe. With that, you can become an astronomer. Really? This is a wish come true. But there's no way I can complete these tasks alone. Girls, can you please help me? I love adventures before bedtime. So, task number one. Find a star shooting up. Huh, easy peasy. Really? You know, shooting stars usually fall down. Even the magical ones. <laughs> then what if we just grab it and throw it back in the sky? Seriously? How would we do that? Wait, girls. I know. They say a star reflected in the magic well flies up into the sky and becomes a real star. <sighs> Didn't I tell you? That's just a myth. There's no way that this is going to work. <gasps> <gasps> it worked! It didn't reach the sky. We have to catch it. Quickly! Star, wait! We won't hurt you! Yay! It flew up! It seems like it led us here. What's the next task? Let's see. It appeared just now. Light up the missing constellation. Over here, on the wall, there are drawings of constellations on the stone. But it looks like one is missing. Well, the lighthouse is in the right place, and so is the gnome. Ah! Oh, the mouse in the hole! It should be here! Hooray! Now what? You forgot the nose. The constellation's called the mouse in the hole because there's a little star right here in the middle. Oh, it's nose. Your shiny excellence. Would you be so kind as to fly right up here? Third task. Go boldly into the cave. Even in such darkness, the stars will light your way forward. Head towards the giant in the sky. Okay, that's clear. Let's go. What's going on? It isn't supposed to get dark. Come on. We need to head towards the constellation of the giant. I think it was the moth, which would be right over there. Oh, way to go, Dorma. After that is the flying carpet and the lighthouse. Whoa! It's so bright in here now. Keep going, Dorma. Let's see, um... There's the wizard's hat, the big dragon, the little dragon, and the giant. Let's go. Are you sure? Oh, flying carpet, lighthouse, wizard's hat, big dragon, little dragon, giant. I'm sure. Quick! <laughs> Now that's what I call a real adventure. But who's supposed to give us the globe? That would be me. Uh, hello. It's nice to meet you. You are... I'm the Great <sighs> Astronometer. A giant? So you're the reason the ground was shaking? Hmm. I didn't mean to scare you. Dorma, I'm here to fulfill your wish. This is for you. You can keep watch over the night sky, lighting up new stars on the globe, cleaning old ones, restoring their bright shine, and distinguishing those that fade away. I'm sorry, but there must be some mistake. 
I looked for the globe because I needed help, not because I could help it. I'm afraid I'd be a bad astronomer. I didn't even ace my test. But what if I make a mistake? <laughs> even the very best of astronometers make mistakes sometimes. That's why I created the star globe. If you use it to check your work, then soon you won't be afraid of mistakes, and your wish will be granted. You will be a wonderful astronometer. Dorma, you're already so good at astronometry. You were the one who thought to go to the well. You remembered the mouse's nose, and in the dark cave, you named all the constellations. Girls, then thank you very much, Mr. Great Astronometer. I'll keep a close eye on the stars, that I promise. The Great Astronometer. Yes, I know him. He was my classmate. He's now an outstanding specialist. He always had his head in the clouds. Used to say it was easier to look after the stars that way. Oh, Mr. Immortal, the well's reflection became a star. So I need to add it here, a new star in the star globe. But what should we name it? The answer to that is easy. The real star tonight was you, Dorma. So naturally, the new star should be called... Princess Dorma! Like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> we might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse. We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off limits to children. <sighs> off limits to children. I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> if only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne-i-e or ne i -e? It's a shame. If only Marlene could join us for the Unicorn Language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like, assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Mm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um, keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. Mm. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you the smile of the closet? No, I'm the records room, Sai. No time to smile, only Sai. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? Uh, uh, a report on grades. A report on the dishes. <sighs> a report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the begonia! How did it get out? 
How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Aha! Uh -huh. If the Begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now... We can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please, help us! We wanted our kite back, so we used the spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Doria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please! Spell gone wrong, reverse. Thunderstorm, disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Responsibilities. Don't get upset, Lisa. This time to improve your grade. Really? Could you improve it now? Pretty please? I'd love to, but not before you've retaken the structure of a suit of armor, the features of invisibility hats, and the carrying capacity of flying carpets. Remember, tomorrow is your retake. That means you need to study today. It's your most important responsibility. Hey, Lisa, why do you look sad? <sighs> I have to retake my test tomorrow, and there's so much I need to study. How can I learn it all in one day? Huh, that's simple. There's a spell that can help. I'll show you how to do it. Just repeat after me. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. Responsibilities come on, all the rest be gone. So I'm ready for the test? <laughs> no, you still have to do all the studying yourself. <sighs> but now, you're not going to forget to study. Thanks, I think. The overall mobility of a suit of magic armor is ensured with knuckles. No, wait, with buckles. Although knuckles would be more interesting. Hey, Lisa, we're having a frog race. Want to jump in? It'll be fun. Dolma even made a prize. Oh, so cute. Oh, but I need to study. We'll be quick. It's just a hop, skip, and a jump. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On your marks? Get set and... Croak! Ha. And the winner is Lisa! Good well job, done. Lisa! <laughs> Wait, where's the prize? Archie, come on, did you take my prize? It couldn't be Archie, I can see right through him. <laughs> Don't worry, Lisa, I'll show you another. When listing the most important features of standard invisibility hats, one mustn't forget. <gasps> Lisa, one of Miss Dragon's relatives flew in to visit. The Golden Dragon of the Seven Peaks. Is it true that he's all gold? Yep, from head to tail. Wanna come see? Yes! 
Actually, uh, no. Sorry, I need to study. Oh, suit yourself. Excuse me, hi! Are you the Golden Dragon? I'd like to see you. <gasps> Are you invisible? Ah, oh, I see why. It's hard when everyone's staring at you. I hear you have a beautiful glow. Could I at least see that? Thank you. Ah, guess that's better than no dragon at all. The maximum carrying capacity of passenger flying carpets is determined by... Lisa, hey! Come for a ride on the six-legged beast! Rooney's taught him how to jump over bushes! I can't go. I have carrying capacity. I mean studying. He learned to shake hands! No way, really? Come on! That was your fifth lap around! It's my turn now! We're almost done! Now it's time for... The grand finale! Ready, go! <laughs> Six balls? Where are you going, Six balls? <gasps> it's Baba Yaga, playing tricks. Toadstools hither, toadstools thither. Come to me and don't you hither. Please give Six Paws back to us. I don't have him. And why would I? I have enough responsibilities. Responsibilities? Of course. Collecting toadstools, weaving nettles, and the fountain needs repairing. Hmm. <gasps> so that's where my prize went. Flying carpet here. You're covered in hair. From six paws. An invisibility hat. And golden dragon scales. I get it now. My responsibilities. Uh, ah, help! I'm being chased by my responsibilities. You're not done with them yet? Don't worry. This is just how the spell works. If you put off your responsibilities, they'll follow you around and get in the way of your distractions. How do I get rid of them, though? <laughs> the same way as other tasks. You just do them. Right then, you all come with me. So here's what I learned from my own experience. First, that a gauntlet can detach from a magic suit of armor and operate on its own. And second, that an invisibility hat can become big enough to hide anyone, even a huge dragon. And third, that a flying carpet can carry so much weight even a six-legged beast doesn't bother it. <laughs> Great job, Lisa. Well done. You know, I used the responsibility spell myself recently. I had a paper to write. The pages wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> they rustled all night. Didn't get a wink of sleep. Are you coming or not? <gasps> mm -hmm. Go on. You were responsible. So now you can have some fun. <laughs> 